Have you just had someone pass over to spirit? And you think, how can I cope with this? How do I cope with this? Yeah? If you've thought about joining them, do you know what I mean? Number one, they'd be very angry with you for doing that. And I've also got a friend who had to turn a life support for a son. And yeah, she thought about unaliving herself and joining him. Absolutely. Probably every day for about a year. But she didn't because she knows she's got other people here that love her, that need her here. Also, she told me she learnt a lot from her son. He taught her patience. He taught her how to live a better life, really. Definitely. And she said if she joined him, and you'll know what I mean by that, if she joined him, that'd be a waste of what he's taught her because now she's changed her life around and is living a very different life, which is much better than the life she lived before. She had a lot of, shall we say, bad habits. Um, but now she's living a better life and she wants to live that better life in honour of him, to show him that she's learnt off him and what he taught her wasn't wasted. Isn't that fantastic? That's a fantastic way of looking at her. So, um, be here for them. You can connect. You can still talk to them when they're in spirit. And I know it's very, very hard if it's, you know, a son, a child, things like that. It, it, it's absolutely horrendous. It's horrendous. It takes a lot to get over it. And you never really get over it, do we? You know? But you need to live. You need to live. You need to live for you and the other people around you and look after yourself and live the life that makes them proud. So they can look down from you. We always say down, don't we? They can look down on you and be proud and be proud that you're okay. And uh, that's, what, that's what they care about. They care about, are you okay? Are you all right? And you can definitely show them you're okay. You may be heartbroken, but you're okay. You're carrying on. And you're going to carry on for the other people around you. The other people you may meet in this lifetime that, you know, are going to show you more happiness, etc. So, please look after you and try and plod forward as best you can. If some days all you can manage to do is get out of bed and exist, that's okay, that's enough for today. If all you can do is get out of bed, if you've managed to get dressed and brush your teeth, that's a win, that's a win right there, yeah? Also try with nutrition to look after yourself. You're not gonna want to cook, you're not gonna want to do big things immediately after someone has passed. So do something simple, grab things. Banana, yoghurt, you know, nutrition bar, some of them aren't that healthy, but it doesn't matter about health at that point, it matters about just keeping your nutrition up and, you know, getting fluid through you and bodily going as normal, because a lot of people run themselves down, I did, <laughs> I did, um, I think a lot of you know my grandma died, uh, she died in February, she was 102, and before that she was poorly for about three months and I run myself down, which was very, very silly, you know. Um, but please look after you. Think about you. Because especially if they looked after you, you know. If if they were your mum, dad, grand, grandma or whatever. And then you're that upset you're not looking after yourself. They'll probably give you a right good telling off. Yeah. Think about how you love them and, you know, their personality and the good times and the times you had with them. And try and think about that and look after yourself everyone.